Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to develop REST APIs using Flask RESTx. If you want to know more about what is RESTx and all, you should come to this website. So they have a pretty good documentation. But anyhow, I will tell you in two sentences, what is RESTx? It is a basically a wrapper on top of Flask which supports quickly developing the REST APIs. And it provides you Swagger API Explorer by default. That will be a really great feature when you are developing REST APIs. So let's get started. So first we need to install RESTx using pip. And first of all, I will create one sample, uh, simple folder like let's say something like uh, Hello, Restex. Okay, so let me go inside that folder. And now we need to install Restex. So let me copy the command from here. So I have an empty folder here and let me create a sample app.py now let's write a, a simple hello world minimal api using restex so for that first of all we need to import a flask okay and after that uh, we need to import a flask restex so from restex we need a resource and we need api what is that i will let you know and first of all we need to create a flask app okay so this is like a regular flask app as i told you the restex will be a wrapper on top of uh, i mean restex is wrapper on top of flask so that's the reason we need to do something like this so api is equal to okay api of app so we will discuss about that in a moment now let me write our first endpoint so maybe like uh, let's write hello world and we need to have a simple hello world class here and it will be inheriting from this resource of restex and def get self and finally return let's return hello and world okay so let's make this one small only and finally let's run this app i will use the regular convention so this is mainly useful when you don't want to run this app when you are importing from other modules okay so let's um, make this uh, debug as true like regular flask app run okay so now let me run this app so for running the app we just need to use python and app.py so you see here and the app is running at this port 5000 and let's go to boom you see this right so by default we will get the swagger ui here so we got one section called default over here when you click on it we got our endpoint uh, hello okay let's execute that one try out execute so we got our response back so similarly, if you want to add one more endpoint, you can do that. Let's uh, write that as well. I will copy the same thing. Okay, so maybe I will uh, name it as some other name. We can give it any name to this one. So maybe like, uh, let's say home, okay. Maybe we can have welcome. Yeah, that should be fine, I guess. But just for the practice purpose 
and let's come back and then refresh since we are using uh, debug is equal to true here the server will get automatically restarted okay so we need not to refresh to start the server so now you see the two endpoints over here right so we got a hello and we got a home so we can execute this as well Convert. So this is how we can uh, develop REST APIs using uh, RESTx. It is very easy and pretty useful when you are developing REST APIs because uh, as, I, as you can see here, we get a Swagger API Explorer by default. And uh, there are many things that are very great about RESTx. To know more about uh, those extra features in RESTx, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the coming videos, we are going to make uh, more in-depth videos on RESTx. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.